Good evening subscribers. Uh, I'm really excited this evening to do this video. Uh, it's going to kind of probably be in two parts. The first part is I'm going to tell you what uh, I'm trying to do with helping people. I've been getting loads of questions on uh, you know, building computers, you know, what components work together, uh, how do you build a water cooling computer, and so I'm going to explain what I'm going to do as far as that's concerned. And then the second part of the video is if you look behind me, you can see a heck of a lot of nice hardware, and I'm going to tell you why that's behind me. Okay, to start off, uh, back in February, I made my first YouTube video, and uh, I'm approaching 1,500 subscribers now, and I've really appreciated talking to you all and, and answering questions, and people, you know, I've learned a lot of things from you all. Uh, what, I, what I'm doing tonight is to explain to you, I'm getting so many requests for builds and uh, you know, what components work together, you know, how do you build a water cooling, what are pitfalls, that what I'm doing, instead of not answering you because I'm uh, too busy, uh, several months ago before I had my YouTube channel, there was a, a hardware reviewer that I sent a couple questions to and I never got an answer. And I was discouraged about that. So what uh, I propose tonight and I've already been doing is uh, if you send me $50, I will help you from beginning to end with your build what components work together, you know, what do you want to do with your computer, uh, if you want to do water cooling, what are some of the pitfalls, what do you need to look for, and I will make you happy from beginning to end for that $50. I know there's probably some of you all out there saying, he's going to charge us $50 to answer questions. Well, I'm getting so many. I, I, you know, I have a primary job. This is not my primary job. This is kind of my hobby. So i got to account for my time. And if you send me $50, uh, you will go to the front of the line, uh, I stay connected, so I reply back pretty quickly, and I'll be able to help you. Any question you have, I'll say, yeah, this works, no, this doesn't work. And when I go over this build behind me, I'll talk to you about some of the things that I talked with uh, one of my first clients. Uh, so $50, I'll help you from beginning to end, uh, I'll make you happy, and, and it'll be worth it. I read all the current articles, uh, I'm up on all the hardware. I've been building computers for 10 years. I've had every major graphics card for the last 10 years. Probably starting out with the uh, GeForce 4 TI 4600. I went to the FX 5800 Ultra, uh, 9800 Pro, X1900 XT, uh, 6800 Ultras, 8800 Ultras, 7800 GTX. I mean, I can go on and on. I've owned all those cards. And the current cards I've owned are GTX 480s. So you will get good, good information. And uh, like I said, I'll make you happy. And $50 for all that information, I, I tell you what, it's worth it, in my opinion. Uh, you don't buy something, get it home, and it doesn't work, and you got to send it back. Uh, you won't have any of that if I help you. Okay, uh, the second part of the video I'm really excited about. You know, if you look behind me, you see a lot of hardware. Uh, let's say that you want a computer built, you don't want to build it yourself and you want me to build it. Well, of course I love computers and I would like it to be my primary job someday. I don't know if that will ever happen, but uh, behind you is the first major computer build that, I, that I'm doing from someone I've met off YouTube. And uh, it's roughly a $9,000 computer and it is going to be awesome. And uh, how we started out is he sent me $50. I helped them. We probably spent no less than seven or eight hours uh, corresponding through email, figuring out what components to get, what was the best for what he wanted to do, what was what were his goals. And uh, he's from Sweden, so I, I don't care to ship computers overseas. Uh, you know, I'm worried about shipping. You know, stuff getting damaged, but. You know, we'll pack it well and, and see how it goes. So let's go ahead and get started and look at some of the... Okay, so let's start off with the basics. Of course, every computer, you'd like to have a computer case. And we went with the uh, Corsair 800D. Now, originally, he was looking at a Mountain Mods case. And through, you know, a long time talking about what case would, would be best suited for him, we uh, decided to go with Corsair 800D. And the reason we did that is he said that portability was something that, that he kind of wanted. And while the Mountain Mods case is nice, it, it's not really portable. It's hard to carry because of the way it's shaped. Where even if this case is heavy, uh, he has a better chance of, of uh, 
carrying it because it, it, it's skinny. You can hold it close, you know, to your to yourself. And plus the 800D, I'd worked with it before, and you can build it and hide uh, wires and make an excellent looking build. So we went with the 800D. Uh, so let's go on to the other major components, hardware wise. We went with the Rampage 3 Extreme, and uh, he, we, we looked at a gigabyte first. You know, he kind of liked the gigabyte, the UD7, and, uh, you know, he was also interested in overclocking. And uh, gigabyte boards, they overclock fine. I've owned them before, but there is no other manufacturer right now that has a better BIOS than ASUS. Uh, if you go to, in their BIOS, it'll have the voltages, the temperatures, the current frequencies all on one page and right below it is where you change it and it does all the calculations for you. You don't have to use a calculator and so in my opinion if you want an ease of overclocking you need to get an ASUS motherboard. EVGA does a fairly good job as well but I gotta get my calculator for some of their things and they all aren't on the same page so I think that's where ASUS is excellent. Uh, another major component is right there, and that is a Intel Core i7-980X, the hexa-core processor, which, you know, if we're spending $9,000, you can probably imagine that that's what we went with. And then I also went with a 2 by ic Diamond. All the uh, thermal interface materials will be in IC Diamond. Uh, I used Arc Silver 5 for years, and it, and it did fine, but I'm telling you, IC Diamond is the way to go. I did a, you know, read a couple papers on it, and it's easy to apply, it's easy to clean, and there's not a lot of cure time, so I see diamond with the thermal properties that it has, that's the way to go. Now, see, stuff that I will, for this $50, if you all decide, you know, if you want some help or you want me to build you a computer, is stuff such as this. We went with the ASUS motherboard, and I like thing, I'm kind of a perfectionist, so we went with... I said since we're going with an ASUS motherboard, let's get everything ASUS. So this is going to kind of be an ASUS build. So if you look over here, we went with three ASUS GTX 480s. Awesome right there. And then also, we can't forget about physics now, we went with the ASUS 9800 GT for, for a dedicated physics. And so, you know, one of his questions like, you know, would it fit on the board? And what would the lanes be? You know, would there be a uh, less performance having a dedicated card? And I was able to answer all those questions. And so I will be able to answer those questions, you know, for that $50, and I'll get you set straight. Uh, we also went with the ASUS Blu-ray drives to continue the ASUS theme. Uh, we went with the Creative Labs Sound Blaster X5 Titanium. I have a buddy in Norway, which, uh, you know, we kind of argued about this, and he, there are sound cards out there. In fact, there's an ASUS sound card out there right now that does an excellent job for probably better than the, the X5 for music, but for gaming, in my opinion, you get an X5 because it has EAX support, and it really is good for directional sound. So we went with the X5, and it also looks pretty sweet. Uh, for hard drives... We went with the, can't see it through the uh, static wrap there, but that is the new Velociraptor 600 gigabyte hard drive, uh, 10,000 RPM, and it's serial ATA 3.0, and uh, they've been out of stock forever, and they finally came back in stock, so I was able to get that for him. That's going to be a storage drive, and then below it is the same crucial SSD that I have. It's a 256 gigabyte serial ATA 3.0. So this build is going to be an entire 3.0 SATA uh, build. 